so annoying. Hi guys, it is time for Supernatural Season 7, Episode 15. I'm very excited. Like I said last time, I'm getting really into watching all these shows again now that I've been watching them like regularly and getting super interested in the story. So can't wait to see what comes from this episode. I really liked the last episode. I feel like it was a little bit of a turning point for Dean. Not even just Dean, for Sam too. They kind of, they just like got a chance to smile and laugh and like had a good time together even though Sam was terrified at first. And yeah, I just really liked the ending. I thought it was really, really good. And I feel like they're going to have a new outlook on things now. Um, and I'm excited to get into this episode and see what's going to happen next with their newfound, hopefully, some joy. Uh, just a reminder, though, if you want to get the uncut reaction to Supernatural, the link is at the top of the description for my Patreon. Otherwise, they're going to still be on YouTube, just heavily edited. You will also get every other show that I react to under the same tier. So not just Supernatural episodes, you will get Riverdale, you will get Scam, you will get The Walking Dead, everything. Um, as well as a few other shows that are not even on YouTube yet. So if you're interested and you want to check it out and get it early, definitely do so. Otherwise, let's get into the episode, guys. There's some interesting previously on stuff there. Well, same stuff with Lucifer, sorry. It's one thing to study them in books. It's... Why did Sam's hair look like longer? I guess it said four years ago, right? You get a merit badge. Don't listen to him. They caught you, you son of a bitch. No more murders. <laughs> she was clearly not ready to see all of this. Maybe you should meet the owner of this fleshy temple a puppy of a man you'll like it oh my god it's always sad when they do that you have to stop him we will we're going to okay we're gonna send that demon back to hell but you got a dad too please don't hurt me oh my god at least he's not gonna be like conscious during it but it might kill his body the things he made me do to those women Whatever you have to do, Aww. you have to do it. He just signed off on his temple. I should like force it down his throat or something, because then it wouldn't affect Jeffrey. Probably wouldn't do enough though. Like they need to make a pool and lay him in it and force him to stay in it. Exoseamos te, omnis immundus spiritus, omnis satanica potestas, omnis incarcio. I wonder if that dude's gonna survive. Because they use a lot of holy water, so I feel like that should hopefully save him a little bit. We exercised him. Try not to move, okay? We're almost at the hospital. I was gonna say, they better take him to a hospital. Shit. What do they say? Or they just drop him off? Alright, alright. Take it easy. Is that baby? Alright, yeah, you're good to make it from here, right? Okay, Jeffrey, no demon talk in the ER, you understand me? Thank you. <laughs> I hope he doesn't say anything. Frank. Frank, what do you got for me? It's nice. Oh shit. It's kind of like a men's room. Not this again, no. Has he been there like in Sam's head this whole time? Because oh my god. But two women killed in the last two weeks, same parts missing. I mean same old hunting mm. grounds even. Alright, well we could take a swing at it. I wonder if he's gonna come back and get that woman. The ones we need to be hunting. Female Caucasian, maybe late thirties. Shit. I wonder if it's her. You know what, pardon me, uh, what was it? Detective... Sutton. Oh, no problemo. <laughs> Detective Sutton. Sutton? Sutton, yeah. Sutton. Hi. What the hell? Same Ew. Cuts. Sulfur? Sulfur. Hey. Damage. Better go check on Havelock. I know every time they smell, it's Is gonna it? be sulfur. Oh, good, she's fine. I'm also... Translating some very old banishments. I hope she gets a tattoo of that. Like there's their tattoo. You haven't had any contact. With the demon? No, thank God. I would be I terrified. Have two things to finish in town and then I'm leaving. Good choice. Have Get a tattoo on your way Jeffrey out. Yet? The one you almost beat to death. That poor bastard. Some demons tend to be He's like, yeah, don't happens they? a lot, I don't know. Always go back to the same host if they can. No. Leave poor Jeffrey out of it. 
You have something pretty big going down later this morning. Oh my god, he looks so different That's without right. having his guess, um, self beat the shit out of. Picking her up today. I had to get her spade and shots and stuff, but leave Jeffrey alone. He's so innocent, and pure. I'm sorry for the cone of shame, but we gotta keep these stitches in. This poor guy. I hope nobody touches him. Keep walking and mind your own business. Come on, man. Really? Why would you go down an alley because you heard something? Mind your business, go home. Does he still walk like that because he's so injured? That was Sam and Dean. Oh, you scared my dog. Uh, well, we did not want to do that. <sighs> Sorry, doggy. Look, I know it must have been um, hard. Do you even listen to yourself? <sighs> I hate that it's... Oh, don't bother. Bugging him so much. He's he's supposed to be in hell. Jeffrey, look, please just uh -huh. calm down. Just have a seat, please. I don't understand. This poor guy. The demon used to recite it all the time, like a grocery list. He burned it in my head. Mm. The names of all the women he was going to kill. Jeffrey, did your uh, no, I don't trust him. I'm really sorry, Alan. They're friends of mine from my days back at the post office. Don't worry. I'm gonna stay here, just in case. Hmm. That poor guy. Marjorie Willis, librarian. He is such a good actor, though. Enthusiast. So entertaining. Next organ donor. Come on, Sam. Talk to me. It's been months. Don't acknowledge him. <clears throat> Had some kind of mental break. Oh. I started to talk. I like that we're kind of seeing. Oh man perspective of somebody who's never, possessed never even after I know that now well hey you got out you know holding it together and now the demon until it yeah until yeah. it just completely resets and I'm happens sorry. again you saved my life i do love that he's not like blaming him i didn't want to go you don't have to go <laughs> we'll handle it i do i have to that guy is too sweet i don't want him to i don't want him to go through that what the f I don't think that's actually happening. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. It's making my stomach turn. Ew. I was gonna say, that did not sound like angry, scared, hurt noises. Hey, hey, I'm not gonna hurt you, okay? But you gotta stay still. Was that him that did that? But our demon's strong enough to make Fat Betty do whatever he wants to, right? So... What's the point? Why does he need the tranks? Think he's got a bad back? The human helping? One of them should have picked up, right? Big Brother's probably dead. Shut up. No. He acknowledged him. No. <laughs> Sam, you talk to me. That's what I'm talking about, Sam. Real interaction again. I miss that. He gave him some advice, though, that worked. The wittier rape. Come on. Imagine they just like became friends. I know this handwriting. Bobby's? Is what's her name possessed? Is that her? Hey, caramba, mi cabeza. <laughs> Nora, stop it! Calm down! You can't change it. Hit her. <laughs> Hit her. Huh? I mean, why would you even help bring back a demon in the first place? I'm not the demon. Oh, he was too nice, too sweet. I should have known. No one asked you to get involved, to save me, to save anyone. What? Did you ever so think he is holding grudge? That maybe I loved being possessed. Did you? No, because you said you didn't. You're a serial killer. I was nothing before he found me. Shadow, too scared to do what I what was brought here to do. He was the one who said kill him, to get him out, though. To live up to my true potential. He seemed healthy, put together. Except he wanted to know if there was a way to summon the demon back. He said he'd been doing something. Why would she not she tell them about this? He was convinced it was possible. He put my son on the phone. So she was forced to do it. My baby's here. Oh shit! He cut it off because the ritual didn't work. When you came, I was supposed to send you to Jeffrey. He left a trail of bodies to make sure of it. Requires the blood of the exorcist who banished him. Your brother. What the fuck? 
You see? It is all part of Jeffrey's plan. Also, screw Jeffrey. He was the one who's like, get him out of me. Da, da, da. Pfft, so annoying. You were so desperate to fix the world back then. It kills you. <clears throat> the people keep getting hurt. I was suicidal. I don't usually endorse suicide, but man, what stopped you? <laughs> it was Alan. Oh my God. I realized I was nothing without my demon. Then I decided I have to get him back. I mean, you're doing the same shit without him, so. Oh, you sick son of a bitch. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the f? That's so fed up. Kim, I hope he dies a painful ass death. Rot row. Oh shit. Oh, what are you doing? I'm thanking you, Jeffrey. Ew. Uh, what are you doing uh, with this half dead? Uh, what the f is that crap? Come into me. I want to be yours. What the f? I'm done with you. My work is finished. You can do everything now. All on your beautiful own. No. No. Wow, so disappointed. Looking for the next generation of superstars before they get to hell. Like Jeffrey here. Oh my god, this is fucked up. All I had to do was loosen How disappointing, on Jeffrey. Stupid. They don't even want out. you. Oh shit. Hey, Lucy, uh, we could use your help right about now. Oh, got him. Screw off. Bye. Hell yeah. She's gonna do it this time and she's not gonna hesitate. <laughs> I don't know why, that just gave me like full body goosebumps. Oh my god. This is shit is fucked up. When is Dean gonna find out about the Lucifer stuff? And now it's getting worse. And now he's talking with him like a friend. Lucifer and him are buddies now. I don't know, Sam. No nap for you, Sammy. No. Oh, come on. Don't do that. I always enjoyed our special little chats. Mm. Did you want to talk? He's never going to let him be. You acknowledged him. Now he's stuck. You wanted me. <sighs> so you think you can use your little tricks to banish me again like that? No. No, stop. Come on. How does Dean not hear these, Same like, grunts now. and things? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Poor Sam. Ooh, that laugh, ooh. All right, there we go. That was season seven, episode 15 of Supernatural. This was wild. Lucifer is back full force. I, oh, I knew the second that Sam acknowledged him, he was gonna be back in. He should have kept ignoring him, but like it was only a matter of time until then. I hope that it doesn't take Dean a long time to find out that this is happening. I'm assuming it won't considering he just like mentally, emotionally tortures Dean or Sam all the time. And I don't know how Dean, I mean, Dean's overly tired and exhausted, so probably he's just dead asleep, but there's no way that he's gonna be able to avoid Dean finding out. And I honestly hope that he does tell Dean and turns to Dean for help for it because clearly he cannot do this on his own. I don't know how they're gonna get him out this time. I don't know how they're gonna get him out forever and what they can do for that. It's not like they have an angel on their side anymore because Cass is dead. I don't even know. I don't know what they're gonna do. I'm worried about Sam. I'm worried about Dean. This episode was screwed up in so many ways. This Jeffrey dude really had me fooled. I thought he was so innocent and like, it's so sad that this demon wanted to get him, da 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 Come to find out, He's the one wanting to summon the demon. He's the serial killer. He thinks that he needs this demon because it makes him his full force. He needs to he needs to have this demon in him. It makes him better, which the demon ended up coming and was like, no. Like, I made you what you were supposed to be. And I'm not going to, no. So it was kind of satisfying that he got, like, screwed over in the end. Um, but it's it's just sad because Dean did everything he could to save this kid when it was happening. And the kids are just like, get him out of me, get him out of me, all these ladies, all these women, whatever. And then come to find out he was just lying, probably so that 
Dean would be careful and wouldn't kill him. That way he could eventually get the demon back and, you know, that would be it. So yeah, that was, um, that was sad. I was, I was very blindsided. Um, and then the, the woman also, like, screwed them over because he took her son and she kind of just had to do what he said so that they wouldn't kill her son. And, um, her in the end, when she, when she was the one who, she was the one who exercised him and... I'm glad that she did. She couldn't handle it before seeing this guy face to face, but now that it was her son, she realized that she can't mess up this time. She needs to do it. She needs to be the one on the field. You know, she can't just do all the research. This is her son and she needed to save him. So this was another like monster of the week. Besides the fact that Sam and Lucifer are battling again, I don't know what to expect. I actually really liked Lucifer this episode. He was really funny and like witty. It's kind of cool to see him work with Sam. And I wonder, like, I doubt this will ever happen, but I wonder if Sam, like, were to fully embrace him, if they would be able to, like, actually work together. But I know Lucifer does not have a good bone in his body, and it would never be just to help Sam, you know? He would be getting Sam to do bad things or doing bad things to Sam or anybody else, you know? It wouldn't work out that way. But I really enjoyed this episode. I'm excited to see Lucifer being back in his body and where it goes from there. That was, that was wild. <laughs> but I still really enjoyed it. I think that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.